As our project becomes more complex, it's important to start thinking about how to structure it. Here is a schematic representation of the current structure. We have one package with all the classes. If we think about the role of these classes, we can see four different categories. The test class only serves as a container for the main method. We have three classes which are dealing with interfaces and user interaction. The person class defines an entity in our data model and the database manager handles the interaction with the database. These categories roughly correspond to the model view controller design pattern. The model for the data structure, the view for the user interface, and the controller for the data manipulation. We could split our project into three corresponding packages. We can also see that the test class is unnecessary. The main method could just as well be part of the main window class. Let's implement this new structure. First, we create the three packages, model, view, and controller. We then refactor the code by moving the classes into the as their assigned package. Finally, we copy the main method into the main window class and remove the test class. If we try to run the code, we see that we have an error. NetBeans cannot find the main method. That's because it was defined in the project parameters as into the test class. As we removed it, we have to manually set it to the main window class. We can now check that the program works exactly as it did before. Another thing we may want to do is to create a person controller for manipulating person data. The reason we want to do that is because if we extend the application to the doctors, patients, appointments, etc., the database manager class will quickly become huge and impractical. It's better if the only role of the database manager is to connect to the database while the person controller does person-related operations using this database manager. patient controller will need access to a connection instance. We therefore have to add a getter to the database manager so that we can access it. We modify now the main window to use the new controller. To make things a bit better, we should also make the person controller available for the entire main window class and have it as an attribute. This way we can potentially use it for any user action in the interface. As always, when we do some refactoring, we should check that we haven't broken anything. There are still some improvements that we can make. It's a bit annoying that we have to set up the database manager and then the controller for the main window. It would be more interesting to be able to access the database from anywhere in the project, but without creating multiple instances of the connection. An interesting way of doing that is to use the singleton design pattern. We set the database constructor uh, as private so that the no other class can create an instance of it. 
we then create a public static get instance method and a private static instance attributes. The get instance method will create the instance if it doesn't exist and then return it. This way, it can only ever be created once in the program, but it can be accessed from anywhere. We can now remove the database manager from the main window and get the instance directly from the person controller. This way, the main window no longer needs to know anything about how it gets the data, it only has to talk to the controller. As a final cleanup, there is no real reason to have the connection information as parameters. They can be hard-coded in the database manager constructor. Centralizing the database information is important when we start adding more entities and controllers, but that will be for next time.